And we back! Y'all, 2K21 for Next Gen has been out for about a week now, and I spent about that much time uploading videos, basically showing you all the new features and having fun with them. But now it's time to get back to the roots, down to the nitty gritty, and accept an old classic rebuilding challenge. I hear y'all. Y'all have been in the comment section going crazy for one particular challenge. And today is that day I accept it. Now this one comes from Zoe. I'm just gonna say your name is Zoe. I'm not gonna butcher your name. Let's just go by Zoe. And he says the Kenny popular phrases challenge. I guess other than just my intro and we back, there's a lot of different sayings that I say on this channel that I mean, it happens like subconsciously. And we back is obvious. No one is safe around here. Okay, I do admit I do say that a lot. The game crashed. I mean, I wouldn't have to say it if 2K just optimized their games for PC. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I literally just said that for Zoe. Okay, or whatever. Um, basically just goes through all of my sayings and attach a 2K related thing to it. So the end we back, I have to trade for one player that makes that plays for the team you randomly selected. So if I get the Bulls, then I gotta trade for Zach Levine. You get me? And we he's back to the Bulls. Overall, I've been seeing this on the last couple videos. I've loved the idea. I've just been waiting for the perfect time and today and right now is that perfect time. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. Um, you're a big fan of the NBA, you know that free agency and trades are about to start today. And if you wanna hear my opinions on all the trades and free agencies and the draft uh click click that link in the description to my second channel upload a video yesterday about the lakers making a trade for dennis schroeder and it was great so don't miss out on that stuff uh hit the bell here so you never miss out on things over here but now we have to do the kenny's popular phrases rebuilding challenge i mean eventually i'm gonna have to read all the rules of this challenge so i don't i don't mess them up so i guess we'll do that right now so and we back we already talked about bringing a player back to his current team so no one is safe around here is no player on your original team could be on your final team so basically all 14 15 players are gonna have to get traded okay and the game crash every time the game crashes trade your best player luckily so far in 2k21 next gen i've only had a few things crash and that was usually when i was loading the custom roster or trying to do expansion but overall just doing a normal rebuild i don't think it should crash at all but who really knows? It is 2K at the end of the day. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Trade for a foreign player that has more than nine letters in his name and try to pronounce it at least twice. All right. I already got players in mind that fits that. Let me make everyone their prime position. None of your starters can run their normal position. That's actually really trash. Okay. I understand why this is a rebuilding challenge. You're selling. Of course, we always tell people if you're being bad, you are selling. And that means make at least one trade with every team that is selling sheesh well luckily for us it shouldn't be that many teams starting uh, off selling next one short king stand up trade for at least two players under six foot i mean it's only like five of them in the league and i guess isaiah thomas and jj beret are going to be the two guys i try to trade for and a first and two and two first don't trade any first round picks oh you you bugging you wild okay i'm gonna keep it a buck with you trade at least one player on the Bucks or one former Bucks player, that makes sense. We're up 20. Sim cast each playoff game where the opposing team has three wins in the series. If you don't win by at least 20, change your coaching system to the worst possible for the next game reset. Okay, so hopefully we don't have to do number 10 because I don't plan on losing three games in a single series, personally. Number 11 says that's a W. Rack up the Ws, have the best record in the league. We can do that. And then the last one, you get assets and you flip them. Obviously, an old mantra of this channel, we say it every single day. Do at least 15 trades total and do not trade back for a player that was previously on your team. Okay, easy enough. Easy enough. Lamest thing about this challenge to me is the no trade and first round picks thing. It's going to really hinder the way we do this rebuild. Of course, we have to randomly select our team, and I'm going to stop in three and two and in one. We're running with the Indiana Pacers in today's video. Okay, let's see what number pick we have. It's almost the last pick where we at, 25th. All right, no big deal. You know, no big deal. I'm going to have to keep all of the rules up so I don't break any. So the first one in my mind, I have to basically look at my entire roster and trade everybody and trade with it all the selling teams too so let's take a look at what our roster looks like ben simmons jaron jackson jr clint capella uh bojan bogdanovich javel mcgee monte morris gary harris gerald green okay that's a solid team i'm rocking with what they got going on around here uh let's see how many teams are selling i think that's the next thing 
so far, so good. Literally zero. And that's the thing. When you do a, when you do a challenge like this where it is a fantasy draft, you're not going to get teams selling off the rip. So automatically pass that because no team is selling. It's a W. Now, the other one, trade. I got to trade everybody. That's like the next thing on my objective. So we play for the Pacers. So we can go trade for Victor Oladipo, Doug McDermott, Miles Turner, Sabonis. There are a lot of different players. Unfortunately, as much as I love guys like Ben Simmons or Jaron Jackson Jr., all of these guys are going to have to get traded. Uh, because, again, we have to basically take our roster and flip it. You get those assets, you flip it. Now, th this is what I got to say to Zoe. If we don't have a challenge like this where I'm getting assets and flipping it, how the heck can you tell me not to use first-round picks when you know the first-round picks are the way you get assets and you flip them, huh? Huh? How you going to do that? Okay, so how do I figure this out? Um, luckily for us, we have Ben Simmons, and we can't attach any first-round picks to any trade. Um, and since that's the case, it's going to be rougher. I mean, we could do like a Devin Booker trade. They gave us a pick that we cannot use later. Uh, De'Aaron Fox and Steven Adams. I mean, we're getting solid little trade offers for our 91 overall. I'm just going to test the waters again. We cannot make a trade with a first round pick involved in it. But the trades are significantly better if I add that pick. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are better for sure. Um, but again, we can't add that pick. I also got to think about it as like I have to trade for players that are versatile. I see a trade right here for Demonte Sabonis, but one of the things said that nobody in your starting five can play their real position. If I make Demonte Sabonis a center, his overall drops down to like 82. If I make him a small forward, obviously he's going to be a lot worse than that. So he's not as versatile as a player as some of the other dudes like Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, I'm moving over to small forward. His overall is even going to go up. So we'll do the Jalen Brown deal. Uh, thank you very much. It's like that. Jalen Brown is no longer his regular position. Okay. Man, I mean, a guy like Jaron Jackson Jr. Let me throw, I'm going to throw Jaron Jackson Jr. in the trade. The navigation sucks. Uh, throw Jaron Jackson Jr. In, a, in the trade finder with Gary Harris in the first. Again, we can't, we can't trade a first. But Jaron is such a good young player that like the trade offers are going to be plentiful. Look at that. Look at this trade offer. But I can't do it because of the first. How do we how do we do this trade without giving up that first? You can you can keep Jordan McRae here, okay? It says no first round picks, right? It says no first. And say nothing about these seconds. Take these seconds. You can't throw this first. Take this other second. You I want to keep JL Green, I guess. Just just okay. All right. All right. What what are the chances? They really want this first. Oh my God. We're not going to be able to get this deal done, huh? I'll give you literally all of my seconds. All of them. They're just not interested. That's a tough scene, man. We got to make up 3 million. Is somebody on our team more valuable than that? How about we give you... Oh, this, yeah, this is a better trade for y'all. This is a better trade. They still want... Man, in any other rebuilding challenge, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at my lips and I'm saying yes. There it is. Three seconds, JaVale McGee. Gary Harris and Jaron Jackson Jr. for Brandon Ingram, Pascal, and Tim Frazier, who, oh, he's not a short king. I mean, he is, but he's not. He's not under six feet. He almost is. And it says under six feet. So, um, but that's a deal, y'all. Let's go. Okay. The only problem with that trade is, again, they can't put be their prime position. So I guess Brandon Ingram is our starting shooting guard now. And Pascal, oof. It's kind of rough out here for Pascal. I will figure out the Pascal situation um, a little bit later. But so far, so good, right? So far, so good. Now, the next thing before I forget about this, I'm going to go player finder. I'm going to say point guard, minimum height. Wait, it's going to have minimum but not maximum height? What type of analysis is this, 2K? I mean, okay. I thought we were going to be able to say, hey, give me everybody that's under six foot. But I know the guys. Let me just look for their names. I need two of them. Chris Clemens for Sammy Ojale deal that's one of our short kings and then the other one the king of the short kings if you ask me um a guy that was once upon a time an mvp candidate and you know what i'm rooting for this guy to come back eventually and be great trey finder him um none of these trades look good appetizing okay we'll do that one all right so another one done we have our two short kings isaiah thomas chris clemens five nine and five nine all right so the trade i'm gonna have to do revolves around fred van vliet understand you probably like ben simmons for freddie I, uh, ben simmons uh, for freddie and vo vo fits the challenge i need to get the somebody that plays for the pacers in real life um but i can't trade chris clemens so we have to figure out that without chris clemens i'll give you Jalen noel 
Now you just don't want to do that, huh? Jalen Noel is that is just that much worse than Chris Clemens, I guess. Instead, we'll give you Glenn Robinson. No. It's okay. You, you, okay, you're just so bad. I'll trade Chris Clemens and I'll just go get another short team because a part of this challenge is not trading back for somebody that you once had. So um, the next short king that's on my mind is like JJ Barea. Um, but the reason I traded for Freddie is because I know as a shooting guard, his overall goes up. But then I just remembered that we already had a shooting guard of Brandon Ingram. Um, huh. That's something. This whole nobody can be their prime position thing is kind of whack. Can we can we agree on that? I guess we're just going to have the best bench in the league because we're going to have Fred Van Vliet and Victor Oladipo on it. Like, okay. I mean, all right. Um, We need to find a center. But technically, we need to find a power forward that would still be good at center, I guess. I have to find a shooting guard that would be very, very good as a point guard. I don't know if that really exists. Um, we, we'll probably have to bite the bullet at our point guard position at the end of the day, right? So I'm going to go to like player finder. I'm going to say I need a shooting guard. Just, just go shooting guard who is good at playmaking. Let's just go. He's an A or he's a B plus or better. So we have James. Okay, we're not going to trade for James Harden, Luca, even Paul George. De Devin Booker's probably not that out of far out of the realm of possibility. I might trade Victor. You know what? Can Victor Oladipo be our point guard? He'll be an 80 overall. He'd be an 80 overall. Um, I don't hate it. Because I don't know if we're going to get much better. He's a good playmaker. He's obviously a great defender. He'll clamp up. Playmaking is what? What, what is this playmaker rating? B+. Plus. He'll do. He'll do for now. Now we have to go find a foreign-born player whose last name is longer than nine letters. You know it's so bad. It says more than nine. So a guy like Juancho Hern Gomez is a foreign-born player, but he literally has nine letters in his name. He didn't say it had to be a difficult name to pronounce. It just has to be a name. Um, so that doesn't work. And I don't need... How many players in the league have last names longer than nine? Two, four... Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. Bogey, add him to the target list. And you know what? The other Bogdanovich can be on there too. Or I could go the very cheap route and go with Shfi Mikhailuk. You hear that? Mikhailuk. I'm, I'm going for Shfi. Um, he plays for the Kings. He's going to be way cheaper to trade for than any other player. And this is a part of the challenge that I don't really care about too much. He's going to be like the last man on our rotation. Uh, we'll give you, boom, deal. They want a second. We can trade seconds. Deal. Okay. And I have to pronounce his name twice. Let's go full name. Sfi Atovslav Mikhailuk. Sfi Aslova Mikhailuk. Sfi at uh Slav. Sfli at a uh, Slav. That's the that's the best I can do. So that part of the challenge is done. So far things are kind of working out well, man. Um, one of the challenges is trading for a current Bucks player or a past Bucks player. I have Tim Frazier right here, and his picture is literally in a Bucks picture. Um, unfortunately, he's six foot, so he could he could literally be a part of two challenges if he was just 5'11", but he's actually six foot. Um, but he used to play for the Bucks, so keeping it a buck is done. The only problem is, I kind of don't remember who was on our team to start off with. I know that Jalen Noel has to go. We traded for Tim Frazier. We traded for Sfima Luke. I think Justin Patton was here, so he has to get traded. Um... J was J Gerald Green, no. Okay, all right, all right. I only got a few more things to do. I just have to make sure that everybody on my roster wasn't here in the beginning, and I think I'm done. Maybe. It did say 15 total trades, and right now we're sitting at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we're only at 6 out of 15. Oh, we have a lot of trading to do. That's that's actually unfortunate. Amante Morris has to get traded too. He was a part of the original uh, core. Uh, it's actually unfortunate. I still got a lot of trades to do because I feel like I like my team a lot. Um, so in order to, to fix this part of the challenge, I might mess around and just make trades. Like trades that maybe don't matter too much. I'm trading for, oh, it's a first round pick. I can't throw that in there. 
or second for Mitchell Robinson deal. Again, he said no first. Um, and Mitchell Robinson can't start for us. He's going to have to come off the bench. Because um, I can't make his position a power forward. I still don't know who my starting center is. So maybe we should address that now. I think I got to do the same thing I did to find Victor Ladipo. And that is like going to trade player finder. I need a power forward. And I guess what I value the most with my center is like, hey, be a good rebounder. That's it, actually. Just be a good rebounder. Um, yikes, uh, not, not the greatest group of guys, um, because even guys like JaVale McGee was all, already on my team, Clay Capello's already on my team, I'm the reason they're looked at as power forwards right now, okay, so maybe the bar is too high, what if, what if I say, just be a C plus rebounder, oh, this is, is this better, not really, yo, our starting center is gonna be buns, I think that's that's just the way we got to play it. Our starter center is going to be Bond. So, you know what? Let's just go with it. Let's say, let's get an elite post defender that is Bonds and have him run center. Okay, Al Horford is a guy I actually would trade for here. Al Horford's actually a guy I would trade for here. With I mean, but these trades are ridiculous. It's Al Horford. He's an 80 overall. Al Horford's a guy I would trade for here, and he plays for the Memphis Grizzlies. This is just such a weird challenge, man. Memphis Grizzlies, where you at, man? I, I'm saying give me Al Horford. I will give you back in return. Ricky Rubio, we don't have a place for him. We still need to make up $6 million. Ooh, uh, that's actually not possible. I forget that he's making that much money, and I forget that we already have players like Pascal, Jalen Brown, and uh, Victor Ladipo. You know, making 20 plus million. So actually trading for Al Horford is not a possibility anymore. Christian Wood could be our guy. Um, and he's making a small amount of money. So let's go talk to the Kings about Christian Wood. Um, I think he's probably the best guy available. His overall will drop when I make him a center. But he still will be a cheap option that's going to run the floor, play a little bit of defense. These trades are actually wild, bro. Okay. Ricky Rubio and him. Unf oh, yeah. Ricky Rubio's making so much more money. What the heck? Give us back Etwan Moore. We give you back Jalen Noel because we need to trade him anyway. And then please tell me I have a second. I have one second. They want that first. Oh, my God. Y'all are really going to make me mad. The other trade that they had is Isaiah Thomas getting traded. And if I trade for Isaiah Thomas or trade away Isaiah Thomas, we're running out of short kings. Because I still need two short kings on the roster. And if I trade Isaiah Thomas... We are running out of them because I already traded the other Chris Clements. This is, this is a, I'm going to have to accept that. I'm going to have to accept that and figure out the short king thing later. Um, so our starting center will be Christian Wood. Um, he's a, he's the same overall small forward than power forward if you needed to know. But he's going to be our starting center. And I know you're like Kenny Mitchell Robinson as a higher overall, but I will make Mitchell Robinson come off the bench for the sake of this challenge. And I'll give starter minutes to Christian Wood. Cool. Now let's find these short kings, man. I'm going to all players, point guards, and anybody I see that starts with a five is being added to the list. As uh, already had Isaiah Thomas, can't get him again. DJ Augustine is a good one. Okay, that's one. I need two of them. JJ Barea is the guy we already mentioned. Let's get a couple. Let's get like four of them things, and then we'll figure out which ones we can actually trade for. Boom, Chris Chioza. All right, so we got a little a little group of players. We don't need Bogey there anymore. DJ Augustine, JJ Barea, Jordan McLaughlin. McLaughlin and then Chris Chioza. So I'm trading away Tomas Sadadansky and Gerald Green for DJ Augustine and TJ Leaf. That is one short king down. I needed to trade Jalen Noel and we're doing that to get Chris Chioza. Okay, so we have our two short kings. 5'11", 5'11". Beautiful. Um, the team is not great. How many total trades have we done? We've only done 10 trades, y'all. We still got five more trades to do. So... Without giving up any picks, we're going to have to make like five very small trades. I like our team right now. Um, it ain't great, but it ain't bad either. Like TJ Leaf is going to get flipped. Uh, it's just small trades. Sure. Why would they do that? I don't know. Four trades to go. Look how rapid fire you're about to do these four trades. Four trades to go. So I'll give up Justin Patton because I still got to trade him anyway. You give us back um, Jordan Bell for some reason. Why would I want Jordan Bell? I, just because he, he fits... Um, and then we're flipping him to Alex Caruso. And now we keep out. We don't trade. You don't, you don't trade Alex Caruso. That's just a fact. 
So, Tim Frazier traded for Pat Connaughton. Pat Connaughton also fits to keep it a buck because he is also a buck. W, 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 W. Okay, how many trades left? One trade to go, and that will be the last one of the video. Let me see if we need something, like for real. Point guard, I guess we're fine. Shooter guard, we're cool with Brandon Ingram and Freddie. I guess I'll start Brandon Ingram over Freddie at the shooter guard, even though that's unnatural for him. Uh, Jalen Brown, Pascal, and then it has to be Christian Wood starting. Then off the bench, we will have Freddie. We will have uh, Mitchell Robinson, DJ. We need another wing player. Okay, we'll make we'll make a trade for a wing player. And then that's it. This is the last trade of the video, hopefully. And we need to have the best record in the league and win a championship. Needed a wing. I'm trading seconds, which is, again, legal. And boom, 10th trade or 15th trade is done. And then I'm just going to get the, give those 13 minutes to Rodney Hood. And then we have a team. We have a rotation. And we have something I, I i don't know what it is but let me double check to make sure we accomplished everything for one player that plays for the team you random selected that is v victor ladipo no one is safe here the final team must be different i think that is the case i think everybody on our team right now was traded for i could be mistaken but i i think that's that's true every time the grade crashes change trade your best player so far no crashes a w we still do have Sfi mckay luke on the roster for the guy with the four name that i don't want to mess up none of your starters can run their normal positions that is done like every oh pascal whoa that's not done that's not done okay all right all right let's figure this out then can pascal run center i'm running pascal at center i'm running mitchell robinson at power four and then I'm, that means I can make Christian Wood back to him to power forward again. Now, nobody's at their prime position anymore. You see, you feel me? Thank God I realized that because the comment section would have been going crazy if I messed that up. So Pascal is now center while Mitchell Robinson is a power forward. Jalen Brown is a small forward. We used to be a shooting guard. Uh, Brandon Eagles was a shooting guard. We used to be a small forward. Victor Depot used to be a shooting guard. Now he is a point guard. You're selling. No team was selling, so we didn't have to worry about that. Two short kings is done. We didn't trade a single first round pick in today's video, which is crazy. Trade for at least uh, one current player on the Bucks, and in this case, it is Pat Connaughton. The word up by twenty is something we gotta uh, worry about a little bit later. Rack up at least, or rack up the most wins in the league is something we gotta worry about now. And then make fifteen trades. It's done. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now we just have to win a bunch of games and win a championship. Season is wrapping up, and Giannis won MVP with the New York Knicks. Jante Porter, DeAndre Jordan, uh, six man of the year. Giannis, the fifth player, most approved with DeJounte Murray. And our boy, Nate, our coach. Um, ah, man. After he coaches his first NBA game, I'll know how to pronounce his name. But until then, he is just Nate B. Um, until then, he's Nate B. But we did have the best record in the league with 63 wins. So that is another check off the list, by the way. Um, the last thing we have to do is win a championship. Last thing we got to do is win a championship. So take a look at the season stats. Pascal led us in scoring at center. It's been working out pretty well for him, you see. Jalen Brown, Brandon Ingram, um, all of our scores are here. Then we got Mitchell Robinson putting up good numbers, yada, yada, yada. All right, we are the one seed going against the Detroit Pistons who have Luka in the first round. Amazing. Let's see how this goes. Game one is a win. Two is a win. Three is a win. A very underrated feature that 2K put back in the game is the game-by-game -game simulation. Because if you didn't remember, in order to simulate game-by-game -game in the playoffs, you had to go to, like, SimCast. And then you had to back out and then simulate game-by-game. -game. But now, they added it back. So, that's beautiful. Um, first of all, I didn't even know who we're going against. We're up 2-0. We're going against Giannis. Okay, so we go against two of the best players in the league back-to-back. -back. They win a game. We go up 3-1. And we win that. We're going against a 7 seed, Charlotte. Who has Dame? Dame must be taking over in these playoff series to be the seventh seed to get into the conference finals. It's tied 1 1, 2 1 Indy, 3 1 Indy. We ain't even have to do up by 20. That part of the challenge was void because my guys know how to win basketball games. We're up 3 0. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Dubs. And Jalen Brown wins finals MVP. I mean, just dealing with some of my favorite quotes, I guess. This was a really good challenge. Shout out to Zoe for suggesting it. Shout out to everybody that was liking this comment, putting it at the top. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. Of course, we'll be back tomorrow because that's exactly what we do. Peace.